The following is an exclusive presentation of Cablevision local programming. TV that's close to home. Coming up on Cablevision's Neighborhood Journal, the Warwick Valley community gets together with a local feed next. Everyone, this is Cablevision's Neighborhood Journal. I'm your host, Anne-Marie Leamy. Thanks for joining us. Well, we have such a variety of great stories, and we want to begin with a fundraising feast that had the community eating a seven-course meal in the middle of the Black Dirt region. Let's check it out. The Black Dirt Feast is a celebration of the Warwick Valley local community. With a five-course meal created by seven top chefs of local restaurants using local ingredients. This is um, their corn fritters with um, chipotle avocado guacamole. And this is uh, grilled scallion negamaki with um, grass-fed beef tenderloin. I'm very happy to be here. And this is obviously, uh, we know, the second annual Black Dirt Feast, and it's something that we've looked forward to for the past year, because last year was so incredible, and I expect it to be as incredible tonight. Well, they wanted to be able to do this, because it's called the Black Dirt Feast, out in the middle of the Black Dirt, and there's really not too many places where you can be out in the middle of the Black Dirt, and, and yet be surrounded by the crops. You know, we have a beautiful region here. Um, the farmland is just gorgeous, and there are many types of um, farmers and different types of farms in the area. And, uh, and it gives our local restaurants our businesses exposure. This was an opportunity to pull the entire community together. Um, because we use our high school students as volunteers to wait our tables. Uh, junior high school kids are, are our busers. Uh, we've got a bunch of uh, parent volunteers who are uh, either PTA members or also helping out in the community, members of the Chamber of Commerce, who all just want to see the community pull together and to grow. And this is really, um, it's an opportunity to celebrate that together. We can sit down and, and have a meal together. More than anything, it's really starting to open people's eyes and, and to see how important it is to, to support your local everything, you know, from agriculture to, to the arts. It's a sold out event. It's nice to see so many people coming out and supporting the farming community as well as our local restaurants. So it, it's really a good thing and um, our, our group is very excited to be here performing. We'll be performing during the cocktail hour. I totally think that local is the way to go. I think that's the only way that things are going to work is if people buy things from the local farmers and their local restaurants and the local potters. Judy and I collaborated together and we probably made, I'm guessing, close to 70 pots all together so that we would really have a finished product of about 55 for the tables for these beautiful flower arrangements that Sally Sherman made. And now we're lucky enough to get to be here and see them on the tables, and they just look fabulous. Oh, it's so exciting to be here in Pine Island. The way they coordinate it with all the chefs, it's just amazing. And the support staff and the students, I think that's a huge plus. Um, we're really happy this year to have uh, the Breezy Point in um, representing the Greenwood Lake community. I've taken some of the local produce. We're doing a beet salad, a cucumber salad with dill, a German style potato salad with uh, fresh chives, the uh, carrot and uh, celery root salad, and then in the center we have a liverwurst and Swiss cheese salad. It's 
it's unique and it's different and, and it does pull the communities together. Um, there's so many people here from, from Greenwood Lake, from Warwick, so from Florida and Pine Island. So it's well represented from the Warwick Valley, no doubt about it. It really just um, levels the field, so to speak, and brings the community together as a whole, which yeah, is nice to see. It's an opportunity yeah. to share things, not only a, a wonderful dinner, but uh, ideas and, and friendship. It's a place where people start relationships, uh, you know, that they uh, didn't know existed. That, you know, they have a lot in common with many of the people that they're sitting next to, but they just didn't know that. So. And it's just great to watch people <coughs> experience the whole table, farm to table theory. No. And they're eating right on the farm. Right, right, right exactly. exactly. Right out in the middle of the farm. <laughs> right, they're surrounded by produce. Right. <laughs>